네, 안녕하세요. 아, 석간 팀에서 일하고 있는 앤드류 로렌스입니다. 오늘 세미나에 와주셔서 감사합니다. 이 프레젠테이션을 준비했을 때 한국어로 다 하고 싶었어요. 근데 잘 못해서 지금부터는 영어로 프레젠테이션을 진행할 테니 줄켜 주세요. 감사합니다. 후, <웃음> made it through the intro. Okay, so today uh, I'm here to talk to you about a challenge that a lot of creative studios face every day, uh, every, of every day of the week, all year round. So in our studios, we are all working on projects. These projects could be films, TV shows, or games. But every single one of these projects requires a bunch of different tools in order for the final product to come together. Things like email, Maya, Houdini, Excel spreadsheets, and PDFs. And the problem with this is that as our teams start getting bigger and we start working with more companies in different countries, this becomes very messy and it becomes almost unmanageable. So at Autodesk, we, with our shotgun tools, strive to create a central source of information that helps your studio keep on track with its project. <clears throat> so what we've seen in recent years is that as studios start working and opening up different branches in different countries, this problem becomes a lot more widespread. So at Shotgun, we are really, really concerned with how can we make cross-collaboration much easier for everyone. So for those who don't know, Autodesk has a tool called Shotgun. It's a cloud-based browser production management and tracking tool. It's used by over 2,000 studios on films, games, TV, and VFX. And also, in the past couple of years, here inside of Korea, it is starting to become widely adopted amongst a bunch of different types of studios through animation, film, and VFX. And we're very proud to have a team in Korea who can help support Shotgun as it's being adopted into different studios. So, let's have a look at what Shotgun does and how can it help your teams work better together. So, we strive to uh, essentially fix four main problems when we're working on a project. So, production management, is everything to do with scheduling my project, making sure that it gets delivered on time. The one we're gonna focus on today is creative collaboration. And this is how do my artists efficiently create work and get feedback on that work. We also strive to improve client communication. So how can we efficiently get feedback from our clients so that our artists can continue to work faster? And finally, we have tracking and reporting tools that allow your studio to see, am I on track and am I going to deliver this project on time? So before we jump in to creative collaboration, for those who aren't familiar with Shotgun, I'd just like to give you a brief introduction to what these other areas can do for you. So, this is our Shotgun web interface. We are tracking many projects in our studio. And inside a project, we can see things like the shots or assets that I'm working on. We can see the statuses, as well as visual thumbnails of all of the things that I'm working on right now. We can also 
uh, see a list of assets that I might be working on with all of the task information that is currently assigned to my artists. So as a production person, it's very easy for me to add information and get a high-level overview of my entire visual project. We have tools like filtering that quickly allow me to sort certain information and focus on the things that I need to know about. So another thing that we might be concerned with in production is, is my project going to deliver on time? Given my budget, can I complete my project? So in Shotgun, we have various visual graphs that quickly show me the status of my project. I could see how many tasks are being delivered on a day-to-day -day basis or I could see how many of my shots are in progress versus how many need to be completed. And this information is very, very useful when we start working across the globe, because it's very, very easy to not know what is the latest thing that I'm working on. So this is just a small peek into Shotgun's production tracking side of things. Again, because it's web-based, we have one source of information that is always the source of truth. OK. So we're going to focus on this. So by way of raising your hand, how many people in this room are artists who are creating content? I see a few. How many people in this room are producers or look after the overall projects that we're working on? I see a lot more. Fantastic. So creative collaboration is concerned with all of those people. But the thing we're going to focus on today is how can we help our artists not have to worry about manual processes and allow them to focus on just creating content. And that is the creative collaboration challenge. So we find that a lot of times artists are sort of sat waiting to get feedback or they've submitted something for review but their supervisor is doing something else and can't unblock that person's work. So this is uh, a problem that we're trying to solve with Shotgun. So I would like to give you a quick example of the types of projects that we're all working on. So these are some stats from uh, actually a Netflix show, and it gives you the scope of just how much work people are having to churn out. So, for example, a single series, a single Netflix series, could have 400 shots per episode. And then you might have 12 to 16 episodes in a single season. That work is almost 3,000 VFX shots. It gets distributed by over 10 to 15 different VFX houses, and those VFX companies could be across multiple cities, even multiple countries. And to top things, there, to top things off, this project has a 10-week turnaround per episode. So that gives you an idea of just how much work people are having to churn out in a very small space of time. So, this is my artist, purple artist, and my artist is concerned with two things. He's concerned with getting the task that he needs to do for today. So, what does, what does my artist need to work on today? 
my artist goes away and does that work, <coughs> and then submits what he's done back to Shotgun. Now, in this example, Shotgun is our cloud central database. So Shotgun holds all of the information that he, they are working on. Now, when that work has been submitted, somebody needs to review it. They need to give some feedback. Now, that could be someone internally, like a supervisor or a lead, or it could be someone outside of the company, like a client or a director. But all of these people give feedback to my artist, <coughs> and my artist needs to address that feedback. And throughout this whole process, Shotgun is acting as the central source of truth. So it means that at any time in my project, I can always rely on the data that is inside Shotgun so that my artist can get on with their work. Now, those of you who are familiar with Shotgun, and uh, again, by way of hands, how many people in this room are familiar with Shotgun? One at the back. <laughs> so for those who are familiar with Shotgun, there, all of these processes, at the moment, they happen in a bunch of different places. So we have a bunch of different places for things like getting tasks. Uh, when artists want to submit their work, they have to go to a different set of tools. When they want to get feedback, they have an inbox, which is somewhere else. When they want to review stuff, it's done in our RV app or potentially in our media app. And all of these different places, from an artist's perspective, is very, very annoying. And it's very confusing, because as far as they're concerned, all they want to do is go to one place and focus on the things that they care about. So, we have recently released a new tool that communicates with Shotgun called Shotgun Create. And this tool aims to bring all of those processes for my artist together into one place. And it focuses on two groups of people. So the first one is artists, people who need to submit work and need to be able to check feedback. And the second group of people are supervisors or leads, people who need to review that content and actually give that feedback to our artists. So before I carry on, just to put in context, we're talking about a tool that uses the Shotgun database as um, its primary source of information. <coughs> so even if uh, your company doesn't use Shotgun at the moment, hopefully this just paints a bit of a picture as to what we're trying to fix and what problems we're trying to solve for your artists. Okay. So, Shotgun Create. It is a new tool that comes free with Shotgun that is intended to occupy your artist desktop space. So that means every artist would have a copy of Shotgun Create and they can use it to do various things. <coughs> So, let's have a look. So, Shotgun Create allows your artist to log in with their Shotgun credentials. And the first thing that they are presented with are all of the tasks that they are currently working on, categorized by status. Now, my artist could jump into one of those tasks and start looking at the history to see what is the latest thing that I need to be working on? Th again, this is all pulling information from Shotgun. I could play back the latest version and see what it is that I need to do. Over here, we have metadata 
that allows me to find out more information about the task that I'm working on. And when I'm ready, I can drag and drop a new version and submit this. Because I've completed my work, I'm going to put a little comment here to say what I've done. And when I publish this, it's going to get sent directly to our shotgun database. And the people who need to review this content are going to be notified automatically. When I'm finished, I can also do things like submit how much time I spent on my task. And again, this is all stored inside of Shotgun. So the goal here for my artist is that he doesn't need to worry about going onto a file system to find out where to do stuff. Shotgun Create is his central source of information. So another thing <coughs> that helps our artists work faster is the ability to connect to other third-party applications. So for example, I could take a task and launch directly into Maya from Shotgun Create. What this does is it gives me an interface where I can load my scene. I don't have to go onto the file system to find out where it lives. When I'm done, I can use this Shotgun Toolkit app to publish directly to Shotgun. Again, my artist hasn't had to touch anything on the file system. All of this is handled by Shotgun and the various Shotgun applications. OK, so that's the artist. We're now going to look at the supervisor, the person who needs to review the content. So my supervisor can, again, use Shotgun Create. <clears throat> but instead of looking at tasks, my supervisor has something called my reviews, which is like a small inbox of all of the things that I need to look at. So what I can do is I can load these up. Again, I could see the history of what's been happening. And I could do things like compare against the previous version to help me make some, some uh, concise feedback. Once I'm happy, I can submit a note, and that goes directly to my artist. And the nice thing about this is that with my reviews, we've tried to create an inbox that once you've finished, that review disappears from your inbox queue. So essentially, you are checking off all of the things that you want to review. OK. And the final thing is our admins. We have production people or people who are setting up Shotgun Create can use the customization to <coughs> choose how does Create look for my artists. If I want to make it simple, I can choose which tasks get shown. Or I could choose which fields get shown on the right-hand side. So all of this allows an admin to customize Shotgun Create so that it's not too overwhelming and it's not too complicated for my artists. So let's come back to our workflow. So again, all of these things right now are a little bit fragmented inside of Shotgun. And with Shotgun Create, our focus is to take all of these things and streamline it into a single workflow. So Shotgun Create recently came out of beta. It is now available for free with all Shotgun subscriptions. And although it's out of beta, we're not stopping the improvements. So we launched <coughs> last year in December. And since then, there's been a very, very full release schedule with over 17 releases and consistently adding new features based on Studio's feedback. If you want to know more, you can check out workflow videos. And we also have 
a community forum where you can talk to other users about their experience and get help and advice on how to use Shotgun Create. So there's one last thing I'd like to talk about that helps our artists work faster, and that is automation. Automation helps reduce the amount of manual work that artists need to do. Now, we touched on this briefly, but we have a series of integrations that will help artists connect to other tools, not just Autodesk products, but things like Photoshop, Houdini, Unreal, and many, many more. So we're not going to go into too much detail of those. What I'd like to do is finish off by just telling you a little bit about Shotgun in Korea. So like I said, we have been working with studios here to help them build up their pipelines with Shotgun. And one of the ways that we've done that is fully localized in Korean. So although you can choose to use Shotgun in English, we are giving you the option to completely use the entire interface in Hangul if you want. On top of that, we also provide online documentation and tutorial videos that is all localized for Korean and subtitled for Korean. So any help that you need to get, not just the team that works here, if you want to find the information online, we're trying to make this a little bit easier for you. So if you use Shotgun, if this problem is familiar to you, we'd love to talk to you. If you're not familiar with it, you can sign up for a free trial, 30 days of Shotgun. And of course, we're not just in it to uh, use a specific product. The goal with Shotgun is it, it's aiming to improve the entire pipeline process. It touches many different areas, and with a little bit of help in the right direction, we hope that we can improve the efficiencies inside of studios. So if anyone has any questions, we have a booth at the back. Please come and talk to us. We would love to hear from you. We would love to see how we can help work with you. And that's it from me. So thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. And uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.